Kristen, I've been so excited to share this day with you and all of our family and friends. I'm joyful for today's celebration, but I'm most joyful for the significance that this day holds in relation to the life of ministry that we will be starting with each other. Luke, the day we've been praying for is here. Today, I commit to spending the rest of my life by your side. You're the greatest gift God has given me. And I'm so thankful that he has provided us with marriage to grow together as we grow closer to him. You've pursued me so intentionally since day one, and it has been so sweet getting to know your heart even deeper. Since I've known you, you've been a woman that has lived with a firm initiative to know Jesus better daily and to make him known more fully amongst the people you're around. This is your most attractive trait to me, and there are so many more that emanate from this one. You probably know this, but I wasn't the little girly girl who wrote to her future husband. But I know if I did, the things I would have wrote wouldn't describe who you are. What I found in you, Luke, is more than I ever knew to pray for or that God could provide in a partner. The first day that we hung out, I wrote in my journal. Last night, I hung out with Luke. Luke is super sweet and loves Jesus. I haven't been looking for a boy, but we kind of just started hanging out. The first thing he asked me was, how did you come to know Christ? He smiles a lot, really listens, and cares about what I have to say. I pray for Luke's heart that he will continue to chase after Jesus. You are wise with how you live. You are confident in who you are and whose you are. You are driven and determined. You are compassionate and quick to forgive. You are loving towards all and generous with your time. It only took a few short months for me to know that I wanted to spend the rest of my life with you. It's simple with you. You're the same person in every environment you're in and you love me just the same no matter who is around. You are kind, gentle, humble, strong, passionate, and the most loving man I will ever know. You are fun, goofy, and always down for a new adventure. You teach me more about Jesus every day and push me to be a better version of myself. You place others before yourself. You're disciplined and demonstrate self-control daily. And I can have fun with you wherever we are. It doesn't matter if we're at the dry cleaners or in San Diego. All of these gifts and strengths have molded you into an exceptional daughter, sister, teammate, and friend, and soon they will form you to be a godly wife and mother. When the words get lost, you're my voice when I speak. When the roads cross, my steps be my beautiful bride and lifelong companion. I vow to love you, serve you, and lead you as Christ loved the church and gave himself up for her. I vow to be active and engaged in the process of your sanctification in order that you would be presented to God as holy and without a blemish. Luke, I vow to pursue Christ and keep him at the center of our marriage. I vow to always pursue you. I vow to be faithful to you all of the days of my life and to only have eyes for you. I vow to be your encourager, your safe place, and your number one supporter in everything that you do. I vow to provide for you and our family despite fruitful or sparse circumstances. I vow to consistently prioritize the edification of our marriage. I vow to maintain the firm foundation of my life 
which is my relationship with our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ. I vow to forgive you when you fall short and to lift you up when you feel discouraged. I vow to honor you as you lead our marriage. I vow to fight for us and always seek reconciliation. I vow to be devoted to you in our marriage. I vow to choose to love you every single day. Luke, will you have Kristen to be your wife? Kristen, will you have Luke to be your husband? to live together in the covenant of marriage. Will you love her, comfort him, honor and keep her in sickness and in health, forsaking all others, be faithful to her as long as you both shall live? I will. I will. To all of us here, will all of you witnessing these promises do all in your power to uphold these two in their marriage? I vow to commit to a life of ministry with you, making disciples within our home and wherever we go. Lastly, I vow to celebrate, encourage, and honor you as bone of my bone and flesh of my flesh. Let's go tie the knot, sugar booger. You're my best friend and the best teammate, and that will never change. I love you, Luke. I love you today, tomorrow, until the day God calls me home. It is a privilege to be your wife. Love your bride. I love you. I love you too. I, Eldred, by the authority vested in me, declare that they are husband and wife. Luke, you may kiss your bride. I present to you for the very first time, Mr. and Mrs. Luke Horner.
In my heart, in my head